Hi, I'm Dave Whitney and welcome to this uh, lesson. Today we're going to do some tapping work. Okay, I'm going to uh, begin by giving you a little finger sequence that we're going to do. We're going to um, then apply that six note sequence to a major Ionian scale and then we're going to take that major Ionian scale and add some tension to it. And it's all very, very easy steps to take, very easy uh, thing to learn. So, um, so here's the pattern, right? And we're going to do this in the key of A major. We're going to we're going to utilize an A major Ionian scale, which is your standard three note of the string, you know, Ionian scale. Starts on A. And the key of A major has the notes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. Okay. Repeating over a couple of octaves and a little bit. Now uh, the way we start this, right, is on the high E string, and this is the first stage. We're going to learn the six note pattern that we will be repeating pretty much throughout the whole thing. So, we tap on the 12th fret, which is the E, with our right hand, whichever finger is comfortable for you is fine with me. Um, we pull it off to the 10th fret, which is the D, which I'm doing with my little finger on my left hand. Uh, I pull that off to um, uh, B, which is the 7th uh, fret, and I hammer on. The ninth fret, which is a C sharp, with my third finger, I pull it off back to the B, which is the seventh fret, and then I hammer on with my little finger the D, which is the tenth fret again. So six notes: one, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to bump the notes next to it, like I just did. Okay, that's basically what it sounds like, right? Now something I want to emphasize is the importance of the value of the length of each note. Right? Just because you're tapping with your right hand does not mean the note um, has any less value or has to be, you know, it has to be an equal note with all the others. One, two, three, one, two, three, not... Now, the reason I'm doing that is because because uh, I have two kids and um, who play guitar, and when I tell them to tap, they they just bang on and drop off it like that, and it's not very pleasing to the ear. You have to maintain the fluidity of the whole thing. By making sure that the tap note has the same length, attack, and tonal qualities of the other notes. Because that's what we want to try and aim for. Okay, then we're going to move it so that we're using it across two strings. It'll, it'll... it'll sound like that. Okay, so all we're doing is the sixth note, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Instead of playing it on the D on the high E string, we're gonna move it across and we're gonna play it on the A, which is the 10th fret on the B string, right? Then we're gonna do the entire sequence on the B string. And if we wanna go back up, we can go back to the D on the, um, on the high E string. Now we can also continue. Sorry. To the G string. Okay. And right down. Right down through the scale. Also move the direction around so that we're going the other way. In that particular case, we end up having to lead with our first finger. So see how that one works, okay? So I'm doing the tap here on the 11th fret on the G string, 
pulling it off to the ninth. Um, so I'm going from the F sharp to the E, right? Then I'm hammering on the F sharp on the B string, which is the seventh fret, with my first finger. So. Okay, now that's pretty tricky if you haven't got a bit of a bit of strength in your um, legato hand, in your legato playing. So you can continue that. So you can play with it as an ascending or a, or a descending. major. Now, all I'm usually utilizing for tapping notes are starting from the high E string moving back across the strings I'm using the high E which is the 12th fret, B on the B string which is the 12th fret, I'm using F sharp on the G string which is uh, the 11th fret, I'm using C sharp which is the 11th fret on the D string, um, on the A string I'm using A which is the 12th fret and on the low E string I'm also using E. But if I want to create some tension in this lick all I really need to do in this tapping sequence, all I really need to do is to play notes that are definitely not um, very good choices for this particular key. So, and that's really... So I might move everything up a semitone. That way I pretty much guarantee that, uh, that my notes are going to, be, uh, going to be out of whack. And what I would be playing would be an F, I'd be tapping an F, right? I'm only moving the tapped note up a semitone, I'm sorry, the rest of it will stay, you know, stay in the um, A Ionian shape, right, so instead of E, I'll play F, F is not in the key of, uh, of A major, um, instead of um, B, I'll play C, C is not in the key of A major, instead of um, F sharp, I'll play G, G is not in the key of A major, um, instead of C sharp, I'll play D. Um, D is still in the key, but it's only one note so far out of out of all those tap notes that is in the key. Uh, so really, it's uh, it's a bit of an odd one out at the moment. Now I then have uh, A sharp, which is definitely not in the key of A or B flat, we would call it. Um, and I have F again, which we already ascertained is not in the key. So that adds some tension. Listen. Sounds a bit weird, right? Yeah, yeah, so to recap, we start off with just simple, simple little licks. And we move them up and down. And you can apply that to any scale, right? To, um, to uh, so that's the Ionian scale. I might use the the Dorian, the B Dorian scale, right? I might. Um, and uh, just choose a different. Choose a different set of notes, right? Now it sounds um, sounds like a different like a different you know key altogether because it is it's B Dorian um, and so forth and so on across the different modes and scale types and things that you've got uh, and also of course you can take a simple thing like this. Um, 
you can repeat it in octaves. If you want to move it down or up the fretboard more radically, okay, which is... Which is a more, you know, it's a very common sort of thing that's done. And like I say, I'm not particularly uh, well practiced on this sort of stuff at the moment, and I'm not really here trying to impress you with my performance of things. I'm trying to give you ideas to work with. If you already have these ideas, well, that's fantastic. I hope you're putting them to good use. Uh, if you haven't, you know, played with tapping and, and thought about the way you can just slot it straight into scales, then, uh, then perhaps this is a good little introduction for you. Anyway, I hope it's helped. I hope you're enjoying your playing. Uh, I hope this helps you enjoy your playing even more. Uh, it's always my pleasure to bring you these things and uh, I hope you take care and I look forward to catching you next time. Regards.